You know what? It just occurred to me when I was recording this video. I know why Coach Narduzzi is salty here. The changes that Coach Prime is making and bringing the players in, he could legitimately compete for the Pac-12 championship. A lot of coaches don't have the balls to do this, you know, with this roster overhaul. Maybe because Coach Narduzzi, you're going to hear it. In the article, he said when he took over a team, he kept all the players. But it's in the rule book that incoming coaches can change these players out. And Coach Prime had the balls to do it. And they know that it was successful already because he did it at Jackson State. See, they're not talking about Jackson State. He did it already. And he has a chance to do it again. He's on the eve of doing it again. And he legitimately, with the players and the personnel, remember I said it before, you are good as the personnel that you have on the field. You can teach the X's and O's. You can have all of the you know, experience all you want to, but you got to have the right players on the field to implement it. And he's getting those players. Listen to me. He got Travis Hunter, Carmani McLean. He got headache back there. He got J5. He got the other guy coming from South Florida. Listen, he got um, the defense coming in. He can legitimately compete this year. See, this is why teams, sometimes it takes a while for them to win because they don't have a complete roster overhaul like this. Were there some good players that left? Of course, but guys, he's on the eve of competing for the Pac-12. Now let's get into this video. All right, so Coach Narduzzi of Pitt, he's not liking Coach Prime Colorado roster overhaul. And I want to talk about that because he's leaving out a few things in regarding this whole process. He also mentioned the rule that first year coaches can bring in whatever players they want. But he's leaving something out here in regarding this whole situation and regarding the Colorado roster. So we're going to talk about it. Before I do, please drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All that will be greatly appreciated. All right. So it says since Deion Sanders took over as head coach at the Colorado this offseason, more than 70 players have left the program, 51 of which were on scholarship. That type of roster restructuring does not sit well with some college coaches. And Pitt head coach Pat Narduzzi voiced his displeasure recently. That's not the way it's meant to be, Narduzzi told 247 Sports' Brandon Marcello last week at the ACC spring meetings. That's not what the rule is intended to be. It's not to overhaul your roster. We'll see how it works out, but that to me looks bad on college coaches across the country. He's leaving something out though, but I'll get into it in a second. Then the article went on to say that Coach Prime was hired on December 3rd after spending the last three years coaching at Jackson State. Following the Buffalo spring game last month, 44 players exited the program per Marcello. The reflection is on one guy right now, but when you look at it, Overall, those kids have moms and dads and brothers and sisters and goals in life. I don't know how many of those 70 that left really wanted to leave or they were kicked out. Excuse me, or they were kicked in the butt to get out, Narduzzi added. Part of the reason for the massive overhaul at Colorado is that the NCAA rule that allows first year head coaches to remove players from the roster as long as they remain on scholarship. USC coach Lincoln Riley used that rule to his benefit last year by adding highly touted at transfers like Caleb Williams and Jordan Addison. But the Trojans didn't undergo as many changes as the Buffaloes. Also, the NCAA removed a 25 man counter limit for each recruiting cycle, which allows teams to sign however many players as long as their 85 man scholarship limit isn't exceeded. Upon his hiring, Sanders indicated that he was prepared to utilize these rules to his advantage. They quoted him, when I get there, it's going to be changed, Sanders said at the time. So I want you all to get ready and go ahead and jump in that transfer portal and do whatever you're going to get. Because the more of you jump into the portal, the more room you make because we bring kids in that are smart and tough. Narduzzi, who also was critical of Lincoln Riley after Pitt lost Addison to USC, didn't hold back his disdain for Sanders' approach to the new position. Now, this is what he said. He said, I grew up in a profession that you can't tell a guy that he has to leave based on athletic ability. I think he'll be shocked that he probably had some pretty good football players in that room, 
Narduzzi said. When I got back to Pitt in 2015, I didn't kick anybody off. Zero. Those are your guys. When you become the head coach, you inherit the team and you coach that team. If someone wants to leave, that's great. You don't kick them out. I disagree with the whole process. That's not why I got into the game. Now, he said, let's go back for a second. He said he probably had some pretty good football players in that room talking about Coach Prime. Yeah, he, he probably did have some good football players in that room. Um, I'm not arguing that. Of course he did. But the program that Coach Prime and the rest of his coaching staff are trying to install in the new program may not fit with those players or they may not want to fit in that program. Some of these players want to start. They're like, well, I want to start. I don't want to just take a back seat to whoever's coming in. It just it could be a situational thing that it just wasn't working out. Every fit is not the right fit. Sure, a lot of players would like to play for Coach Prime, but the process might not be the right fit for them. And he didn't say that in this particular or in this article here. Now, were there some players that were told that they're not cutting it and they have to move on? I'm sure some of them were told that. But a lot of these players left on their own. It's just that they weren't happy with the process. They probably talked it over with their family and they just wanted to go and have a clean sl a slate somewhere else. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, are there were some players there that they, they were told, to, you know, you're not cutting the mustard. I'm pretty sure of that. And yeah, those players have a right to be upset. But again, the rule, he's saying that the rule, it wasn't meant to be that way. But here's the thing, um, Coach Narduzzi, the rule is there. Incoming coaches can literally bring in whoever they want. Remember, they have an 85 man limit. OK, remember this. They can only carry 85 scholarship players in a season. It says in the bylaws in the rule book that the coach could bring in whoever he wants. So let's say if he bring in, let's say if he kept everybody. Yes, they lost some players. He didn't even mention this. They also lost players to um graduation in the draft even though i can draw inference that he he wasn't even talking about that but let's just be fair and say for the players that remain yes some players did leave they were told to leave but there was some players that wanted to maybe have a clean slate somewhere else they didn't like the program it could have been a situation where they didn't like the um offense they didn't like their role in the offense so it's nothing wrong with hitting the transfer portal and going elsewhere you know what this transfer portal also remind me of NFL free agency. I mean, it's like that in free agency players are told to leave. They're told to leave some of them much harsher than that. You know, um, this is the new football um, coach Narduzzi. I mean, that's good that when you took over a program that you kept all your players. But you but I guarantee you maybe that program didn't go one in eleven. Of course, Lincoln Riley didn't have to um, have a full, complete 100 percent roster overhaul because he inherited USC. USC over the years is a pretty good football program. He didn't have to let everybody go. Yes, he brought his quarterback with them. Caleb Williams went on to win the Heisman Trophy. But what if Lincoln Riley took over a one in 11 Colorado? What would he have done? Would he have kept all the players and just brought Caleb Williams to hope for the best? I don't know. We would never know that. But in this situation, I mean, Coach Prime wants to win now. If he don't feel comfortable with some players um, out there, then he, he can um, hit the transfer portal and recruit. Now, are there some players that, that left that maybe he wanted to stay? Possibly, but he can't make them stay. They got to want it. They got to want to compete. And he was very transparent in that first meeting when he met with the team. He said, this is what's going to happen. I could see if he wasn't. I mean, he's, he's he was brutally transparent, but nonetheless, he was transparent. So, again, he didn't say in the article that there was some players that were going to leave anyway. OK, I don't like this system. I don't like the coaches. I don't like how they talking to me. It could be various reasons, you know, but I, that's all I wanted to say. Guys, what say you drop a comment below? Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.